have not like and subscribe don't forget to like and subscribe and um, if you have any question or comment um, you can always find me in twitter discord or um, you know tiktok um, so let's get started today's topics we're gonna talk about bitcoin is it time to buy bitcoin where we are in the bitcoin cycle right bitcoin's got a really massive rally from almost 5000 in 2020 uh, i think it went like dip to uh, less than 5000 uh, if you look at this this candle you can see that it went like 3850 in 2020 it wasn't far away Till we, I think the peak was a 64, was it 64? Uh, 64, I think it, it did went 69, it, yeah, oh wow, it did reach exact 69,000 too. So it did hit like peak of 69, which was a double top and after that, we've been really in a kind of beer market territory. We did briefly went below 20,000 to 17,900, but right now kind of running at 20,000. So. Uh, I'm going to go over where we are, how, I mean, how long uh, maybe it's going to take us to get to the next uh, all-time high and is it the good time to buy, right? So let's get it started. So this is a chart um, uh, trading view and I'm looking at the monthly, right? If you look at the monthly, it goes all the way back from 2011 when Bitcoin was $10 to basically the low of almost $2.50. I actually got Bitcoin around this area in 2013, but too bad I don't have any Bitcoins from there. So basically, I I got it, got in around, just heard about it, uh, found it pretty cool, got in around like, yeah, I think somewhere around, I don't remember the exact date, and it wasn't easy like this. There were not many resources, uh, not many exchanges, and it was, uh, it was kind of pain, but still you could buy. Uh, I got in right around somewhere around here like hundreds uh, 110 20 I forgot the exact amount and I sold with like almost like uh, Yeah, I think I made 10 15 K and I thought I was like doing really well I sold it then really I saw all the way to rise then I was like shit I, I missed the trend then I saw it all the way going down But I did not really buy it here too. Then I got in actually in 2017. I think yeah, around March, April, like I think I got like 1700. That's when I started really and I was like, I'm gonna hold it. And that's that's the one reason I usually don't trade Bitcoin. But I think if you really can time it, you could probably do a little bit better. But I usually right now, I just accumulate it. I, I don't sell it. I definitely believe Bitcoin will one day go uh, 500,000 and beyond. So a lot of questions people ask me like is it time to buy a bitcoin right so uh, is it time where we are in the cycle so what we're gonna do is uh, bitcoin usually have the cycle so bitcoin cycles are basically bitcoin uh, halving right so every four years i, I forgot a thousand blocks or something i don't know but every around it's not exact but around four years bitcoin rewards gonna uh, get into half right so uh, you can just search Bitcoin halving and you can see uh, so basically it's like uh, uh, let's look at the some chart uh, maybe yeah see this is a uh, yeah this is Bitcoin halving chart right so uh, every four years so the first one happened in 2013 second one happened in 20 um, I think mid 2016 uh, and third one happened in like 2020 uh, yeah 2020 right around like uh, i think it was, it was april or may 20 and if you look at the what happened was basically when bitcoin started it was basically um there were like uh, you could mine 100 bitcoins um uh, every 10 minutes right that's a block time i think it i think i'm correct it's 10 minutes if i'm not yeah i think that that's right 10 minutes right and now the first halving that went from 100 rewards to 50 so basically what's happening is you can make less and less bitcoin but its value is going up and up that's what compensates right so you basically mining bitcoins how bitcoin are generated is by mining right all these machines solve this uh, complex um, uh, basically mathematical problems right all the hash and whatnot I don't want to go there but it basically and what we have seen is after the halving the price increased dramatically if you can see that right this line 2013 boom then second one 2016 boom uh, then 2020 exact same thing happened right so 
right before 2013 so it was uh, yeah see 2013 and boom it went all almost right so if we if we maybe you know uh, horizontal line so let me create a line right so I think it happened around uh, right around right it was actually in December January right that's that that was the first one right and um, so the second one if you look at like just to see it 13 then 16 and 17 mid 16 and 17 was it mid 16 and 17 yeah uh, 16 and 17 so july somewhere around here second halving right then the third halving happened and 20 um, yeah right around here Yeah, I think it was right. Right. So you see this pattern, right? Right after the halving, you can see that it just sharply goes up, then kind of consolidates. Uh, really, you get the bear market. Then it's again sharply goes up. Then you see this um, kind of goes down and sharply goes up, right? So really very clear pattern, right? Like uh, uh, very, very clear pattern, no doubt about it. So that's the one thing, right? So now let's look into like how long it's really usually these are monthly charts, right? So I'm really looking at the bigger pictures and let's see. Uh, so how much percent drops, right? So uh, let's look at uh, this is huh. yeah. So uh, after this halving, it went all time high, right? So all time high, right around here, 1100. And if you look at here, voila, right? So uh, basically it dropped like 86%, right? From all time high, it dropped 86%. I think it was pretty similar here too. So this was in 2017, 2018, when Bitcoin hit, uh, yeah, right around 19, I think, yeah, 19, 20 in some extent and if you look at that and it went bottom of like yeah 3,3100 and 83s right so before it was 84 83 oppression but really margin of error so it's usually if you look at that from the all-time high it has been usually around like basically 84 percent so what does that bring back to the right now the current price so if you look at here we were almost uh, 69 right yeah 6970 and oh no not that yeah so if you look at here so where does 84 brings us right so 81 82 so usually if we are like 69 i have one up but it's usually bring up 82 83 is uh, basically it's taking us to 12 13 right so i think absolute bottom we see is literally is around like 12 to 15k and i have seen a lot of other models it also kind of says the same thing right so i think that that's absolute bottom but the fact is you cannot really say hey that's the bottom or that's you know like uh, uh, it's uh, nobody can predict exactly right so if it's uh, if you know exactly then you could basically short all the btc or anything right and make all the money but we don't know maybe it's going to take longer and again this is just a historical data not guarantee that it's going to repeat but we have seen that it has already repeated twice right probably three times we don't even have a data from 2009 probably it's irrelevant right like it went all i mean really less but uh, kind of btc has really defined and kind of known pattern so it looks like you know like within the margin so 12 13 so i'm thinking 13 12 to 15 that's probably absolute bottom right so the other thing is if you look at right when we gonna see that right so if you look at same thing right so we we kind of came up with something right so it dropped 80 to 85 percent that's bring us about like 12 to 15 thousand right from all time high now let's look at the how many months it it actually took right so um, basically yeah let's measure from the first one
right? So first one is basically uh, 14 bars, 426. It took us 14 months, right? So 14 months. So let's look at the, to get the all time low, right? So now let's look at the what's the second one, right? So what happened? Uh, yeah, so second one. First was 14, second was 12, exactly around 360. It's not exactly, of course. Yeah, but around, right? So 12 to 14, right? So we are seeing like maybe 14. I mean, th that's kind of pattern. It took 14 months in the first, maybe 12. So I don't know, maybe it's 10. It's just decreasing. It's not gonna, six, seven, eight. We are already eight. So maybe we are actually in right around there. So if you look at right now, that was all time high. That's seven bar. So yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So eight, nine, ten. Maybe in three months. So but yeah, if you look at yeah, so seems like I mean, and if you yeah, it looks like maybe in by next uh, three, four months, July, August, September, right? September, October. Seems like that's when we maybe bottom out, right? So I think we are in equity stocks. We are already pretty, pretty low. Um, and a lot of the growth stocks has been sold. And I think they kind of trying to find a bottom. But let's see, you know, like higher time frame, we can see if we are finding. But if you look at this, right? So we go all the time low, then kind of make a base right around, just hang out around there. That Then we basically go up again, right? Same things like uh, we went all time high and we really drop like and kind of ma made a base right so that's a four month base that was uh, here we have one two three four five six seven eight nine so base has been really the bigger the base bigger the move right so nine month base rapid move right then we made one two three four months uh, base really rapid move i think we probably had moved really good but i think the covid and everything no not really covid right so that uh, again covid uh, uh, kind of moved up uh, but again, right, that's why we had a big week for the, the COVID week, but it really recovered well and had a really tremendous up. So I feel like um, a 12 to 15, but what my strategy, right? So the thing is like, I'm buying right now. I'm adding everything I can, basically. I do have um, cash and I'm planning to add more during like if it ever reads uh, 14, 15, but I think anything under 20 is really great buy. And also other things I wanted to um, say is like, if you look at um, from the low to high, right? Let's not even go. So here it's like, it was almost like what? 150. So 150 and it went up to, I mean, yeah. So this cycle, right? So from 15, almost 150 to 20,000. I mean, that's, that's a lot. 20,000 divided by 150, that's like 133x, right? So 133 times. But now even this one, right? This one, it was, let's make it 3,000 and we went uh, 70,000. So here, if you look at uh, 70,000 and we were 3,000, so basically 120x, right? So uh, I think it's uh, we not gonna go 100x, uh, 20x, but I definitely see it, right? So there's some kind of pattern, but I, I could easily see 10x, right? So 10x, if you go like, um, you know, 10, 15k, that's 100 to 150k in this next cycle, even more. I mean, there's always a little bit. So I definitely think like in the next cycle, we could probably go uh, 10 to 15, so 150, 200k easily, right? So that's basically if you are getting even right now at 20k that's your 5x at 100 5x will be easy like i think that's that's probably minimum and if you get 10x that's uh, that's your you know 200k so basically it's like your 100,000 in a million dollars so i think bear markets at least in the crypto is really good time to add on and uh, make a uh, generational wealth actually so yeah uh, let me know what you guys think about this video i will probably make video like this and don't forget to like and subscribe and comment that thank you and have a great day thank you again thanks bye